This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Kelly Meyer. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. A new food recall to tell you about this morning, and it might be something you'll be grabbing a lot of this summer if you're having any barbecues. Wegmans is recalling their 18-pound bags of ice sold between January 1st and June 10th, 2014. After concern, metal pieces from a broken part in a machine got into the bags. The FDA says some of those bags were sold in stores in Pennsylvania. We're not told exactly which ones. The store estimates about 6,000 potentially affected bags were sold. Wegmans will place automated phone calls to those who purchase their ice with their shopper's club card. If you're worried you may have one of these ice bags, contact Wegmans Consumer Affairs Department at 1-855-934-3663. And there's a new addition to Eldridge Park in Elmira this morning, a gazebo, serving as a memorial to a local officer. This gazebo was built yesterday in honor of Chemung County Sheriff's Deputy Jeffrey Alexander. He died in a car accident while on duty three years ago today. Family members say Alexander loved coming to Eldridge Park, so they decided to place his gazebo here. His memorial fund is sponsoring the gazebo as a donation to the park, and an official dedication is scheduled for early July, and flowers will be planted around the gazebo today. And a funeral has been scheduled for the Corning couple killed in that tragic motorcycle crash last weekend. According to the Star Gazette, a service will be held for Myron and Ann Crispino of Corning this Saturday, June 14th. They were killed Sunday after a motorcycle accident in Steuben County. Myron Crispino was a business development officer for First Heritage Federal Credit Union, and Ann was an English teacher at Notre Dame High School in Southport. The funeral will be held at St. Vincent de Paul Church in Corning. And from Jimmy Kimmel to the Capitol, the celebrations for our local spelling bee champ aren't over just yet. Shriram Hathwar, co-champion at this year's Scripps National Spelling Bee, will be honored by the Corning Rotary Club today. Shriram won the Corning Rotary Club uh, Spelling Bee on March 6th. Then he continued on to win the National Spelling Bee in May. The Rotary Club is calling the celebration a spelleration just for Shriram. Again, that's today at noon at the Corning Radisson. And now here's Craig Flint with today's forecast. Craig? Okay, Kelly, stuck in the soupy air again today as we take a look at the comfort cast. What we're dealing with are dew points right near 65 for the afternoon, 65, 66, 67. So it's noticeable. That's the humid to oppressive category. Lots of water in the air today, and we also have some water that will be falling from the sky in the form of downpours and some storms. Temperatures in the 70s and with that muggy soupy air over us. Uh, downpours and storms will tend to feed off that, so locally heavy rain possible this afternoon. Satellite and Doppler radar loops combined. You can see it's unsettled to say the least. What we have going on this morning is a deep flow out of the Gulf of Mexico, and that's transporting all that uh, Gulf of Mexico moisture. Oh, also, by the way, we're getting a little help from the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, as an area of low pressure lifts its way through southern Canada, that has dragged a warm front through here. And you can see we've got these rounds of rain moving up through the region here this morning. And as we head through the afternoon, you'll be noting the future track keying in on those showers and thunder showers. Uh, scattered about, locally heavy rain possible, and that activity will likely continue right through the night here. And it's muggy again tonight. Friday, Still some showers and storms around, clouds and sun, but a cold front will be working its way to the east. And once that cold front moves east, some much more refreshing air will build in here as we head into late Friday and into Saturday for, of course, Dad's Day weekend. So if you have plans, you're good to go. Today, have the umbrellas. Temperatures somewhere in the mid-70s with downpours and storms this afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast, the unsettled weather, the good looking weekend, and then we crank the heat up here, I think, next week. Kelly, we're talking 85 to 90, warm and humid, with some storms around at that point in time. We'll keep you posted on that. Why are you so giggly this morning? I hear Mark saying, bring on the AC, and it's so true. It's summer's <laughs> hitting us now, but I'm it's excited. Here. I'm ready for it. I hope yes. you guys are too. Let's ready for summer. <laughs> All right, for the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5, 36, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Kelly Meyer. Have a great day.